Hello, YouTube Frog. What's up? The 2.6 banner has just been announced on the Genshin Impact Twitter. So uh, let's take a look, shall we? But of course, as always, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Uh, starting off in the first half of the 2.6 banner, we're going to be getting a Ayato banner, but alongside Ayato will be a Venti Revan banner. And then there'll be Ayaka coming in the second half of the patch, but they didn't announce the second half of the banner. I guess it was just only that one time where they announced both banner at the same time and then they will never do it again so i don't know anyway starting off with the ayato slash fancy banner of course we have the featured character ayato who we don't really know yet my current prediction is that he will be a kind of okay balanced characters a little bit on the lower side because a lot of the hydro characters are already really good those are characters like chayo kokomi or stuff like that but anyway ayato probably will be fine i already have a prediction video up on my channel so you can visit that if you are unsure but again as always please wait a week or two after the banner drop to make sure that we can properly free craft him but let's look at the four star character on this banner starting off with xiang ling one of the best character in the game i think not much to say here Getting Shaolin Constellation is really obviously really appreciated, especially getting her to that Constellation 4 so that you can unlock the full potential of Shaolin. Something to note is that Constellation 5 and 6 on Shaolin is not really useful, so there's no explicit reason to try to chase for those, just getting C4 is enough. But moving on, we have two also really good characters, which are Sucrose and Yunjin. Starting off with Sucrose, Sucrose is one of the most underrated characters in the entire game. In fact, Sucrose is arguably better than Kaza or Venti in her own way. Sucrose is one of the most Giga Chat Animo characters, secretly a 5 star character, maybe even a 6 star character that a lot of people are not aware of. Sucrose is really, really good in many of the team, including like Sucrose Taser, which is top tier, Sukoko Mon, top tier, International, but with Sucrose instead of Kaza, top tier, Sucrose as a Shao battery. Not necessarily top tier, but still really good. Sucrose is just one of the best characters in the game. So many people still underestimate Sucrose. And uh, please, Sucrose, it's secretly a 6 star. Just like Bennett and Sing Juice and Chang. But moving on to the Sucrose constellation. A lot of people always think that you need constellation on Sucrose to make her competitive. That's actually not true. C0 Sucrose does just as well as C6 Sucrose, which actually means she's actually not constellation lock at all. On a character like Shang, you can argue that Shangling is a little constellation lock because you need C4. A C0 Sucrose perform pretty much just as well as a C6 Sucrose because her C6 is too hard to trigger that we usually don't consider it. Sucrose, C0 is really, really good. Her C1 can help if you're using her as a Xiao battery, but that's really it. The rest of her constellation don't really matter. And so just getting a single copy of Sucrose if you don't have any could be one of the best improvements for your account. But of course, constellations are always appreciated because it is just free extra stuff. And I guess star glitter whenever you have it and then we have yunjin who is a normal attack buffer slash sub dps uh who specialize in team that do a lot of normal attack those are things like yomiya and um I mean, you can use Yunjin for your Hu Tao if you don't have a substitution. If you're doing like N2C on your Hu Tao, then Yunjin can actually put a quite bit of damage out. But otherwise, Yunjin is only really used for Yomi and potentially in the future with Ayato. But once again, of course, we don't know that yet as further in-game playtesting will be needed. But overall, I think it's great that they put Yunjin in this banner because this is the second time that Yunjin have appeared after her initial release. So I imagine that a lot of people don't actually have Yunjin Constellation and getting Yunjin Constellation would probably be really appreciate it. Or maybe just even your first copy of Yunjin. Something to note is that C6 Yunjin does give her the attack speed buff, and attack speed works really really well for certain characters that are really really heavily reliant on normal attack raw damage. And again, those are characters like Yomiya, Ayato, but to some extent certain characters like Raiden as well. So getting Yunjin constellation is definitely great. So yeah, overall, I think this is one of the best banner we have seen in the longest time. Not necessarily the Ayato banner, but the Vanti banner. For a lot of people, that doesn't have Venti and you have Spare Primo, you probably should be rolling for Venti. Again, we have a video up about his current state of the game. A lot of people like to think that Venti is not that great anymore. And while he's not as good as his original release because Abyss have more heavy enemy now, Venti is still one of the best characters in the game. And if you have Spare Primo, I will highly advise you to roll for Venti. More detail can be found in the uh, Venti video that I previously uploaded. Or even you can look at um, the Ask Sajaf Venti video 
where he did a giant Q&A, including answering the same question a hundred times, which is, should you roll Castle or Venti? The answer is, you should just roll both. So that means you should roll for Venti anyway. In fact, even in the most recent Kachin Main TC podcast, we talked about this briefly, but it is true that you really should just roll both Castle and Venti, which means that with the Venti coming in right now, if you have spare Primo, definitely consider picking him up. And because of that, you also get the 4-star along the way, which we described, and the 4-star are really, really good. Overall, this is probably one of the best banner in existence. If they replace Yunjin with like Bennett, then this banner would be the golden banner. But I will think Yunjin is fine, given that a lot of people either don't have Yunjin or don't have high constellation Yunjin. So definitely really appreciate it. But if you're not into Venti and you want Ayato, then it's just equally as good. Moving on to the weapon banner, here we have the Ayato signature weapon as well as the LG for the end. Just like last time that the LG came back, this is a really good banner to roll for if you care for the 5 star signature weapon for Ayato. We don't really know how the 5 star sword performed yet, especially compared to other premier 5 star weapon like Miss Better. Miss Better is the best weapon in the game and it's probably better than the sword, but that doesn't mean the sword is bad. It still gives you 33% crit rate as well as 12% elemental damage bonuses, which is, to be honest, pretty good. So overall, this banner, at least this banner have two good 5-star weapons, unlike many of the other banners, like Vortex Vanquishers, whatever that Claymore is called, the equivalent one, or even just the Donut. LSG, obviously, is a really, really good weapon for the signature user, Vanti, which, again, you should be rolling for. But there are definitely other use cases for LSG, including on support Ganyu for crowd infusion, on your Ember for your VV Hu Tao, and stuff like that. So LG is not locked to being used in Venti and overall LG is a really good weapon to have on your account. It is not necessary at all so don't roll for LG just because I said that but if you happen to get an LG because you're rolling for the weapon banner anyway then it'll be really good to have. Usually we don't get too good 5 star weapon because Mihoyo likes to scam us but in this case we do so just because of that it's a pretty decent weapon banner especially again if you're going for the 5 star Ayato signature weapon already because you know maybe you're rolling for Ayato but the 4 stars are not looking too great. To be honest, it is okay, but it's not that amazing. Starting off, we have the Rust and the Flute. The Flute is not really used by anyone nowadays. It is a completely like useless weapon. Even the free-to-play weapon are much better than the Flute. And I'm talking about stuff like Amenoma Kageuchi, who also have attack percent substats. So yeah, the Flute's not really good at all. Likewise, the Rust could be used. Um, the Rust is okay to be used on stuff like Chayo or even Yomiya. In fact, R5 Rust could start really, really hard on Yomiya. So Rust is definitely still being played, just not as often, only on one or two specific characters in specific scenarios. Still a useful weapon. The weapons that are actually great in this banner, however, are the Dragon Bane, Sacrificial Craymore are okay, and finally the Wispis. Starting off with Dragon Bane, this is a Shangling weapon, but also Rosaria and stuff. The Dragon Bane have elemental mastery as a substat as well as a passive that increase your overall damage when the enemy is infused by a specific element. It is really really good to use in Raiden National on your Shangling as it have elemental mastery substat and in case you're not aware because you didn't watch my previous Raiden National guy, Dragon Bane is really good because Shangling really appreciate extra elemental mastery in Raiden National as you'll be doing overload damage on top. But likewise, Rosaria can use Dragon Bane for a similar reason in the Reverse Melt team. Reverse Melt is a really 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 amazing team that I have also previously made a video on and in the reverse melt team dragon bane is a really good weapon for similar reason as previously so overall dragon bane is a really good weapon on the character that care about it which are a lot of the poem characters and of course there's hu tao the low attack on dragon bane does not affect hu tao at all as hu tao scale with hp instead of attack and then the likewise elemental mastery as well as the passive that increases your damage actually makes dragon bane a really really competitive four star weapon for hu tao so overall there is a lot of great uses for Dragon Bane. It's probably one of the better weapons in this banner, just like the Will Smith. The Will Smith is a really, really amazing Kalos user weapon. To be honest, it is not that amazing, but it's the only thing that you can possibly use because it has critical damage on its substat, and that's really it. Every other Kalos in the game count just sucks, but the passive on Will Smith is quite amazing if you happen to hit the right one. Usually, that is the damage bonus passive that can give you 96% damage when you hit the right one. 
One hit KO Chris Rock? Yeah, I guess that's what R5 Will Smith can do to you, huh? If you have R5 Will Smith, you can one-shot Chris Rock. So that's, I think that's pretty good. But otherwise, yeah, Will Smith is not really used because Kalos users are not really being played in a DPS position. At best, you really use it on certain characters like Yamiko or Klee, but those characters are pretty much not all meta. The only meta Kalos is, well, TDDS. But if there happen to be a future Kalos user that is actually worthy of being in a DPS role, then Wismith is actually going to be a pretty good weapon for those characters. So getting a R5 ready just in case is actually going to be pretty good. And finally, we have Sacrificial Claymore. A Sacrificial Claymore is not really actively being seen play, but if you care to ever bring a ER weapon on your character like Beidou, on your character like Sayu, then Sacrificial Claymore is not a bad choice if you do need it. There's not a huge reason to go for Sacrificial Claymore, uh, but it's one to nice to have in your arsenal just because, well, there are definitely some time where you're bringing it out. For example, like Chongyun, where you want to double cast his elemental skill for crowd infusion, maybe dealing with like a hydro hero, maybe dealing with a pyro hero, maybe dealing with potential new hero in the futures, a Nemo hero, dendro heroes, who know that the Chongyun Evolution few could use a Sacrificial Claymore. But otherwise, generically speaking, it is being played as a ER weapon if you don't have other ER weapon. Usually the other ER Claymore are preferred in my opinion just because they're a little bit easier to use, but the best use case is obviously to just not run an ER Claymore on your character like Beidou and just run the Serpent Spine instead. So nice to have, not that important but yeah. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. And we'll be also getting a free scene choose in the upcoming patch. Scene choose is one of the best characters that they possibly could have given out. Uh, not just because scene choose is one of the best characters in the game and its base form, but also because every single scene choose constellation is really, really good. C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, all really good. There is not a single bad scene choose constellation. And so getting your scene choose to constellation 6 as soon as possible is really important. And if you have C6 scene choose, then free 5 star color, I guess. Just like Xin Yan. But yeah, pretty amazing. The only better character that they could have given is arguably Bennett. But to be honest, I think giving out a scene choose is better than giving out a Bennett. Because you can use C6 scene choose, but you cannot use a C6 Bennett. So that means the chances of you being able to utilize another scene choose is higher than another banner. Whatever, same thing. Really, really good. Really amazing. And then you can use the scene choose with your secrets and challenge to draft a national team. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's really just it. There's honestly not that much to see here. We'll see how the 2.6 patch go. We'll see when Dendro come. Hmm. Sasuke. With that being said, that is gonna be it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just as a quick reminder, I do stream Genshin Impact over on my Twitch. So don't forget to check it out as well. And uh, I'll see you guys all next time.